In this video, I show you how to install an mSATA SSD in a desktop PC using a neat little PCIe adapter card from eBay. There's an affiliate purchase link in the video description. If you have a spare mSATA SSD left over from a NUC, tablet PC, or netbook upgrade or salvage, this is a cheap and easy way to give it new life in a desktop PC. This should work on any PCIe equipped motherboard, but on older boards your BIOS may not allow you to assign it as your boot disk. For this you'll need an mSATA to PCI adapter kit. Mine included the adapter card, brackets for slimline and standard PC cases, mounting screws and nuts, and a cute little screwdriver. You'll also need an mSATA SSD, a regular Phillips head screwdriver, and a desktop PC with an empty PCIe slot. This adapter can fit both full-size and half-size mSATA SSDs. Place the female mounting screws in the hole that matches the length of your SSD. Insert the barrel part through the hole, then fasten the matching nut on the other side using your fingers. You can repeat this with the second hole if you want to, but one corner is good enough. Now place your SSD in the slot, and fasten it down with one of the small screws that came with your adapter card. The card has two tabs to connect it to your PC motherboard, and an additional black plastic data connector for adding an extra SATA SSD if you want to. I tested the bonus SATA connection and it worked well. Now let's put it in a system. First, find an empty PCIe slot and line up the tabs on your card. Gently push the card into place. Now fasten it down with a standard case screw. Screw it down and you're done. Actually, we can do a bit better. Windows 10 detected my card and SSD right away, but performance improved after I installed some extra drivers. As of 2021, both Asmedia and Marvel drivers are available for Windows 10 online. If you use the same card as me, these are the ones to seek out. I haven't tried this card with Linux, so if you have results to share, please let me know. So that's it, your mSATA SSD now has a new home in your desktop PC. If you can't see your mSATA SSD yet, check out my video on how to partition and format a new drive using Windows 10. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment or share, and subscribe if you want to see more tech tips like this.